So uh, let us move to the next step, uh, making a single employee uh, functional component. Okay. So first, let us return. Right now, what it is present here is like uh, we are returning hello. Now I want to return something like a uh, what uh, as per our. Uh, I want to return a single employee component. Later we will make it as a list. Uh, we will make it iterate through a list so that we can see a uh, <clears throat> many employee components. So first let us create a return a single employee component. Okay, that will be our first step. So let us uh, return a first return a single employee JSX. Then we will uh, create a employee separate employee in another file and make it to return. So let us do that. Instead of doing hello, we will do in that way. Okay. For doing that, let us move to our code. So instead of this, I want to return a employee component, right? So you have to understand that when it goes, when it moves uh, across lines, it is always recommended to put it in this. Okay. And other thing you need to understand this in uh, while returning right you have to have only a single root you can't have multiple roots okay you can't have like this if you have like this it will throw error okay you can't have it like this you can see uh, we are getting error right here right so it should have only a single root inside that single root you can have uh, multiple spans or diffs so let me create a inside this let me create a div okay and let this div have multiple divs okay so that we can be able to uh, return employee name date of birth and position health okay So I will copy it three times and uh, what we have to do inside this is a label okay this is not a HTML label you can see that it is a JHS label okay so I have it so there will be certain differences okay and uh, we will have an input element for this employee name so that uh, any user can edit that okay okay for this let me create a <coughs> value let this be for time being abc or something okay and it is type text that is the default value anyway Let me copy paste this so that I don't recreate. So the next one is date of birth for that employee. I will make, make it as DOB. Okay. And let this value be something 10. This will 10 2010, something like this, and question held. Okay, and uh, I will have it as value to be manager. Understood. So now let us see whether uh, this is getting returned instead of hello. So we are able to see that value here. I and I also need a border and a padding. So let me add a CSS. We already have a app.css. I will delete all this value and I will add something employee uh, 
class or something. Maybe employee style. And we will add something here. So we want to add a border for this. Let this border be one pixel solid green. And uh, let me add a padding of 10 pixels. So how to add this style in that uh, JSX? So first you need to import it. Okay. So how to import? Just import. Okay. And do dot app dot CSS. So here no need to do like this. Import React component. No, no, no need to export it here because for this it is uh, <clears throat> it is uh, okay if this runs the CSS runs no need to export anything from CSS okay it is enough for this to run no need to export anything so I just import that app.css and uh, whatever I mentioned the CSS that the employee style I will add it as a class name here. It should not be class here because this is JSX. It has only class name. So I told you right, there are certain differences. So it just add the class name here. That is the employee style. So let me see whether that style is applied. And now it is applied. You can see that green border. So uh, as per our requirement, we have to move this to a separate you can see it here move this employee you have to create a single employee functional component so let me uh, move this as a functional component rather than keeping it here okay so for that for creating this as a functional component so as per uh, the design right development design it is always better to break it into small pieces so let me uh, add it Create it as a separate functional component. So just add a employee and it is better to name it as employee.js. And here, so first you have to understand you have to add this React that is necessary in all the components. Okay, no need of component because just going to add a functional component, right. So you can name it employee and let me add it. So uh, just I will copy paste whatever we wrote it that here. <coughs> right. So this has to be written now. And since we are written in multiple lines, it is better to put it inside this braces. Okay. Now we have done this. The next step I need to do is I also need to import the CSS right in that file. Because we are using employee style here. So let me do this. Now I have added. Now I have to use this component in app.js. So what I have to do, I will just delete this because it is already present as a component, right? I can have a div, that is not an issue. Here I first need to <coughs> export this functional component so that app.js can use it. So let me export it as a default. default uh, value before you can have uh, multiple uh, things you can export here i am exporting this employee component as a default uh, thing okay here you import this employee since it is a uh, default uh, export you can name it in any name i will name it uh, i will keep it as employee only so let me do this as I told you, JS is optional here, but for CSS, it is not optional. Okay, you have to understand. And uh, here, what I will do, I will add that employee. Okay, 
So I have added the employee as a functional component and I have returned that here. Let me see now whether it is working. And it is working fine, right? <clears throat> now uh, come into our another thing. See, right now these values are all static, right? But if I want to send the value from app.js to the employee, which is the child, from parent, which is app.js to employee, what I need to do? I have to make use of props. Let us see, it is part of my next step. So this one we have completed. So it is part of my next step. Okay. So let's complete the. So let's proceed with the next step. That is the passing data to the employee component you via props. Okay. So you have to whenever you want to send data from a component to another component, you have to make use of props. Maybe uh, uh, this can be comparable to event binding, property binding, and event binding in Angular. Okay. Yeah. Even uh, property binding is sending the value okay from your parent to the child and uh, likewise if i click on any of this i want to send the data back that also need to be sent in props now we will see how to send these values right employee name dob and personnel from the app.js to employee.js through props okay just understand props is the way you have to send the data from the parent to the child and child to parent vice versa which is comparable to property and even binding in angular okay so let me send the data now understand i want to send something okay some data it's yz okay and uh, the dob date of birth i want to send something Question held can be something. Okay. Now to receive the data in the employee, you need to add something. This is not mandatory to add a props. Now I need to pass this data, name, all these, to the employee, the child component, which is the function component. To receive the data, I need to add something called props. This need not be props only, can have any custom name. I will have it as props. To get the data here from the props, you need to add it in the value. Okay. And any JavaScript, if I want to write it inside JSX, I will use the flower braces okay now inside javascript i am writing the code props dot name because this is the name how i send the data here right i send the name data in name so let me take it in name likewise for data birth i will take it in props dot dob okay likewise Props dot ph for portion health. So now all this data should be available. Whatever you sent here should be available because we have sent through props to the child component and retrieved it in props. Okay. So you can see this. So right now when I check, it should all be displaying this value. Okay. Yeah, add that as manager there. You can make it as supervisor. Okay. So let me check it now. So you can see it here. 
the data whatever data we send from the parent to the child we are able to see it here right so till now we saw about uh, property binding from the parent to the child we passed a value that is all the three values the employee name date of birth and supervisor now if i want to send an event from the child to the parent maybe uh, for any click happens in the child i want to send an event to the parent how can i do that that is comparable to event binding in angular so to do that let me proceed to the <clears throat> code so here if i want to uh, propagate a event to the parent in case if anyone clicks on, on the input element this employee name input element what i need to do is i have to add on click because i am interested in adding a on click event okay and for on click over the props i need to add a function okay maybe on click handler okay props dot on click handler i need to add now whenever click happens so this on click is nothing but jhs event okay whenever on click happens on click handler will be called over props so in the app.js you have to add this on click handler okay you will add something like this when uh, this event gets propagated from the child from the child that is the employee component you need to run a function so let me put uh, flower braces and write a function here which will be called whenever on click click is uh, click happens on the employee name okay so i wrote a event and uh, whenever click happens right react will expose a event okay this event will contain all the information about the click event okay whenever the click happens let me do a console log okay event maybe i will say click event and i will print the event comma event so now uh, let us see whether that event is getting printed whenever we click on the employee name on the employee component so let me go to that uh, thing so whenever let me clear it off whenever click when anyone clicks on this you can see that click event the console is getting printed and in this event which is exposed by react we will get all the information about the click event since it is a click event you will get all the information like where it got click what is the x axis y axis and all those information if it is a on change event you will uh, get to know what value was entered by the user so it is all based on the event okay so this is how uh, event we have to bind from the child to the employee child to the parent hope it is clear let's proceed to the next step